Well, good day and welcome to Travel 2 Trip Working for You. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day today to learn a little bit more about Travel 2 and our feature partner, AAT Kings. We're going to be featuring escorted tours of Australia and New Zealand with Margot, who will come on a little later in the presentation. But of course, first I just want to start out with talking a little bit about Travel 2. For, for those of you who are not new to us, there is time to grab a coffee if you'd like and then come back and join us. But for those of you who are new with us, please stay tuned because I'm going to go through our whole brand recognition for you and some of our services. But first, I want to tell everyone to pay very close attention because there are going to be some quiz questions. Five quiz questions after Margot's presentation, and we're rewarding the winners. The first answer to be written in the question box, so you'll see it to the right side of your screen. The first person to answer and I'll wait to see who comes through first, will get a $5 uh, Starbucks card from us. So definitely pay close attention to uh, what you're about to learn. All right, so our brand br uh, breakdown. It's a little different in U.S. and Canada. So I'm going to start with the U.S. first. There are several brands to be familiar with, starting with our parent company, Hello World followed by Qantas Vacation. So all of your Australia and Qantas uh, airfares are going to be under Qantas Vacations. Then we have Travel 2. Now Travel 2, that big red 2 stands for B2B. And we are 100% dedicated to advisors and not limited by any airline. So you can sell any airline under the Travel 2 brand. Below that is Islands in the Sun. Now Islands in the Sun is only commissioned to sell in the U.S. So those who are Canadian online today, and you're not all that familiar with that brand, don't worry about it. I'll tell you in a moment how to get that product. But Islands in the Sun in the U.S. is our feature brand for luxury islands. And now Insider Journeys. We have acquired 100% of their business, Insider Journeys. Some of you might remember them as Travel Indochina, but it's small group touring in Asia. And we can now uh, do all of those bookings through our Insider Journeys lead. Now in Canada, Hello World you won't see often, but it is our parent company, so it's just something for you to be aware of. The prominent brand here in Canada is Travel2. Everything can be filtered through Travel2. Now we will put out uh, exclusive Qantas Vacation packages with exclusive airfares and all that great stuff that has to be booked under Qantas Vacations. But for the Canadians online, that happens when I email you under my Qantas Vacations uh, email. But everything else is funneled under Travel2, including our luxury islands. So keep your Travel2 line. And of course, again, Insider Journeys, we've acquired their business. So you will now be contacting us for that service. Now we have a, a nice big sales team across North America, starting with our VP, Justine Littolo, followed by Janie, Ward, Andrew, and Yuri, who are all in the U.S. So I'm sure that you know them very well. And if you don't, then definitely reach out to me, and I'll make sure that I put you in the right hands for your future leads. And then of course myself, Director of Sales Canada. Now, with our air consolidation, we can do our net fares right over the phone. It's quick and easy. Give us a call. Uh, but for those who are sitting in the U.S. right now, we also have an online air booking system as well, which I'll show you towards the end of the show that you can hop on and do your own airfares through there. Uh, for the Canadians, we don't have that option yet, but we're working on a solution for that. We have all the main carriers to all of our destinations, and our newest one being Emirates as we've brought on uh, the Maldives. Of course, groups and special events we can cater to. Now what I encourage you to do when you do have a group in hand is to reach out to your local representative under Travel2 uh, to help you with uh, building that group. Because of course, we've been to the destination, so we can help with suggestions before even hooking you up with our groups team. We also like to get involved and find out how you're marketing it, what groups are traveling. So it's always really good to stay in contact with your local representative with those details. Our destinations, we are a niche operator. We service the South Pacific and Asia, so that's Australia, New Zealand, French Polynesia, Fiji, Cook Islands, Asia. And new to our product lineup is the beautiful Maldives. Now we have recently done a presentation on the Maldives. So it is actually recorded and sitting on our YouTube channel. And you'll see at the end of the show some of the other presentations as well that is sitting there as well. So we can always send you those links or it's simply our YouTube channel link and then you can choose which ones you'd like to watch. 
Now, very near and dear to my heart is AAT Kings. Those of you who have known me prior to travel too, I represented AAT Kings here in Canada, and it's a wonderful product. You know, you would be surprised uh, with your clientele who you think might be more on the independent side actually filter better into Escorted. Main reason I say that is because you get such great education on these tours that if you're going independently, you're not learning as much if you're doing, say, a self-drive and whatnot. So you always really need to, you know, qualify your clients and ask them the right questions. What, what are they there for? Are they there to learn and sample culture and all of those wonderful highlights? Well, it's really well done by AAT King. So again, just make sure that you're asking those questions. Now we do have uh, an AAT Kings brochure that's wrapped by Travel2 and sitting on our website that you can download or ask for a printed copy. We have flyers and microsites as well. So I'm going to show you those towards the end of the show. And, uh, but first, we're going to get started by listening into Margot's presentation on AAT Kings. So Margot, please take over uh, the presentation. Are you still on the line there? I've just got to make sure that you've got... I'm here. Yeah, I'm here so I can go ahead and all right. There we go. Okay, so you should be able to change your screen now. And thank you so much for joining us today. We are looking forward to your presentation. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time out today to listen to our presentation. Um, I'm with AAT Kings, and I just want to give you guys a bit of history about AAT Kings and who we are uh, before we get into some of the touring product. So AAT Kings is over 100 years old. Uh, we started out actually as a Sydney tour operator, just a small Sydney tour operator. And in the 1960s, we became Sydney's largest tour operator. In the 1980s, we partnered with Bill King's Northern Safaris and then became the leading operator in guided touring in Australia and New Zealand. We're a part of the Travel Corporation, that's our parent company, so you'd be familiar with brands like Trafalgar, Insight Vacations, Brendan Vacations, Kentucky, African Travel, and a number of other brands that fall under that umbrella. So we have four different styles of touring that I'm gonna talk about today. We have our Inspiring Journeys, which is our small boutique guided vacations. They have a maximum of 20 passengers, all unique experiential itineraries that focus on food, wine, um, indigenous culture, and off the beaten path experiences. All boutique accommodation, five star, and some of the more remote areas we might use a 4.5 star property and upgrade the rooms. Um, but really, really neat journeys, um, any, and they're anywhere from five to 22 days. So our guided vacations, then the next form, style of touring that we offer is larger coach escorted touring anywhere from five to 24 days in three to four star accommodation. And I'm going to get into the differentiations that you see in the brochure on that shortly. And then our short breaks are independent modules anywhere from two to 19 days. And these are for FIT travelers. You can have um, three, four, or five star accommodation choice on these. And they work really well if you have pre or post cruise clients. We offer about 100 different day tours throughout Australia, both half and full day tours in both small and large groups. As I mentioned, we have both half and full day tours and small and large group. And one of the ones that I'd like to talk about is that we do offer a small group Blue Mountains tour. It's called Blue Mountains in Style. It operates daily from Sydney, and it has a maximum of 18 passengers. And this is one of the locations that we go to on this tour. So the Blue Mountains, and you see the three sisters in the background, you see the blue haze of the eucalyptus back there. That's why it's called the Blue Mountains. When the sun shines on, on the oils from the eucalyptus trees, it creates that blue haze in the background there. So this is a location called Scenic World, and we use this location in all of our Blue Mountains Day Tours. So here is that Scenic Lookout, and then there's a number of different things that passengers can experience while they're at Scenic World. There's a tram car that goes across, a cableway that goes across the canyon there that you can go over and look at some different lookouts there. There's a nice pathway that goes down, um, down a mountain that you could go through, and then there's some different sculptures and things that you can see along the way that are pretty neat. And then you could take the world's steepest train back up the mountain. It's a fun experience, and you're in the forest. Um, it's really, really a good time. So we have a couple of different Blue Mountains tours. This one is the small group tour, and it's called Blue Mountains in Style. 
We also have a large group Blue Mountains tour as well. We offer a sight, see, and save pass on our day tours where clients will save up to 35%, and, and this is on over 60 of our selected day tours. It's only available for purchase through Travel 2 prior to arrival into Australia. Each pass contains four coupons, and some of the tours might take a half coupon, one and a half coupons, or one coupon, or two coupons, and that's indicated in the brochure. You'll see the little emblem that says sight, see, and save in there. There's no need for your clients to pre-book tours, so this is always good for those clients who come to you and say, oh, we don't really know what we want to do while we're in Sydney or whatever city. Um, this is a good thing that they can purchase as an option. The selling point is that it is less expensive for them to pre-purchase to pre it before departure than if they were to book once they arrive in Australia. So what they would need to do is clients need to book the tours. 24 hours or more prior to the tour that they want to take. So if they land in Sydney and they want to take a half day Sydney tour or two days later, they can call the number that they're given for the site, see and save pass and book the tour then. There's no additional fees once they get this pass. Uh, everything is all paid for through travel to when they book this. And our short breaks. So I was mentioning the short breaks. These are excellent for pre and post cruise excursions that you might need in Sydney or Melbourne or anywhere, really. We have them all over Australia. Uh, they're usually about four days. The four day modules are really good for the pre and post cruise excursions. We have a number of them that take place in the Red Center. And I always like to talk about Kings Canyon. Um, one of our most popular of our short breaks is a three day um, Red Center short break that goes from Uluru into Kings Canyon and Alice Springs. And Kings Canyon is such a nice stop and um, a lot of people don't really think about it. But what's special about Kings Canyon is you could do this really incredible hike there. It's called the Kings Canyon Rim Walk. It's a 6.3 kilometer hike around the rim of the canyon. Um, if clients can't do this uh, for mobility issues or whatever reason, there's a shorter creek walk that goes in along the creek side in the middle of the canyon. So that's always a nice special thing. And then of course, uh, the three day includes Uluru and it includes Alice Springs as well. And there's a number of different uh, short breaks in the Red Center. So there's two day, uh, three day, four day, whatever your clients might need, we definitely offer it. Now our guided holidays are what most people know us for. These are larger coach, guided vacations throughout Australia and New Zealand. You can do them as dual country, single country, anywhere from five to 24 days um, and using three to four star hotels. There's a couple of differences that you'll see in the brochure. So you'll see our guided vacations are labeled as either first choice or best buys. And the difference between those two is the first choice are the tours that include four star accommodation, they include most of the sightseeing, most meals, and most of the touring. Our best buys are three-star properties, and they include a few less meals and a few less excursions, but it offers the clients more free time. So this is great. If you're looking at this in the brochure and you're thinking about something for your clients, if the first choice doesn't quite suit their budget, look at some of those best buy options in the same locations. We have quite a number of them, especially in New Zealand. One of our most popular of our guided vacations is the highlights of Australia and New Zealand. Uh, if you have a retired couple who has a like, long length of time, a little bit over three weeks, this is a really great option for them to see both Australia and New Zealand. As you can see by that map there, it's very extensive throughout New Zealand and it cover, definitely covers all the highlights in both countries. Our 18 to 19 brochure is out. As Leah mentioned, you can contact Travel2 to order. Uh, all the departure dates listed in that brochure are definite, and all the pricing is land only. So we'll have the suggested flights that are needed in the bottom right-hand corner on the tour page. And those will be the flights at an additional cost that you'll need to book for the clients through Travel2. We have a brand new brochure that's out, and these are the tours I'm going to focus a bit more on in this presentation. So this is our Inspiring Journeys brochure. It's a beautiful new brochure. It's just come out maybe about three weeks ago. It was just released, and the inside of it, it's beautiful. It's nice, beautiful, glossy pages, some amazing imagery. It's really a nice thing that you can hand to your client about our guided vacation product that is 20 passengers or less. 
all the departure dates in this brochure as well are definite. Uh, pricing is land only. And again, the required flights are listed in the bottom right hand corner on the tour page. So let's get into those inspiring journeys itineraries. I'm going to talk about each of those and, and touch on each of them so that you're aware of them. The first one we're going to talk about is the Long White Cloud. This is a 22 day itinerary encompassing both the North and the South Islands of New Zealand. As you can see, it's very extensive. Um, it's cut off there a little bit, but this tour actually goes out. Um, it does an excursion to Mulford Sound as well. So the other option for this one, because 22 days is often a little bit too long sometimes, especially for the American travelers that are he heading over, you can break this down into an 11 day tour of the North Island or just the 12 day version of the South Island. And it would just be th that segment of this tour. The other New Zealand option that we have is this inspiring New Zealand itinerary that's new for this year. So this is a 10 day itinerary that covers all of the highlights of New Zealand on both islands. This one's really nice because this includes Doubtful Sound instead of Milford Sound, which is, you know, a nice change. Um, the difference between the two is Doubtful Sound. It's a little bit further than Milford Sound, but there's also a lot less tourists there. So clients get a nice, unique, um, off the beaten path experience by including Doubtful Sound versus Milford Sound. Um, and it really does touch on the highlights of, of New Zealand there. Now, the departure dates on this one, if you wanted to turn this into a dual country itinerary, the departure dates for this one uh, can coincide with the inspiring Australia that you see here. This is a 13 day itinerary covering that classic triangle that people want to travel to in Australia. And I mentioned earlier that these inspiring journeys itineraries all include some off the beaten path components to them and really touch on the food and wine and the highlights of the destination. So I just kind of want to touch on this one a little bit more than the others and explain some of those things to you. So this tour, it starts off in Cairns, but it doesn't actually stay in Cairns. It stays for three nights in Palm Cove, about 20 minutes north of Cairns. Um, beautiful area. This is where I like to go to when I go on my personal vacations to Australia, staying up there. Um, and it includes your Great Barrier Reef Cruise experience and your Daintree National Park experience. For the Great Barrier Reef Cruise experience, we're using an operator called Silver Swift. So they're getting a smaller operator. Um, and then Daintree National Park, we're partnering with the Bama Way or Adventure North. Um, basically what they are, there's, there's two Aboriginal brothers that started this, this tour operator um, operation about five years ago. And they take our clients out exclusively, just our group, and they teach them how to hunt for crab and forage for, for shellfish and, and teach them the Aboriginal way of doing that. So they take the clients out a little bit more active. These all kind of have a, a little bit of a soft adventure, very soft adventure component to them. Um, so taking them out, collecting all this shellfish and crab and things like that. And then they take them back to the family home and they cook up an amazing lunch for our clients. So that's one of the unique experiences that we have there. And then we go into Alice Springs. Um, we're dining under the stars there and going on to Kings Canyon. We're doing one night there where clients have the opportunity to do that Kings Canyon rim walk I mentioned. Going on to Ayers Rock for two nights, the Ayers Rock Resort, visiting Uluru and Katajuda, exploring there. That's really nice on these inspiring journeys as well because when you go out to Uluru and you're seeing a lot of those large coach operators um, and those, those coaches out there, it is really nice to be in that small intimate setting with 20 or less passengers. So from Uluru, we're going on into Sydney. We're stay using the Langham Sydney as our property there. Uh, and what I really like about this itinerary is the way that this Sydney segment is laid out. First of all, they're staying one night at the Langham in Sydney. Then they go on to the Blue Mountains for one night really nice to be able to experience that area for that full day and an overnight experiencing the sunset and the sunrise and getting to be there when the rest of the day tours have gone back to Sydney for the night. Then going on to the Hunter Valley for one night and then that's New South Wales wine region experiencing some really nice boutique wineries there before heading down into Sydney for two more nights at the Langham. So clients can leave their luggage at the Langham, check it in and then come back to it at the when after they come back. Uh, for those two nights. Now, a couple things that they do in Sydney that I think are, is really nice is 
for the Sydney Harbour experience, we're you're experiencing that on a yacht in just a small group setting, just our exclusively our group, um, which is really nice because a lot of the guided vacations, uh, there's a you know really great product called Captain Cook Cruises where you're doing like a larger lunch cruise around the harbour. You get an amazing experience, but it's not that same intimate experience as doing it on um, on a yacht. So experiencing it that way, and then for the final dinner it's at Benelong restaurant at the Sydney Opera House so we're really great last night there really getting to connect with the people that you've just traveled with and a really nice farewell dinner that you have there and then we have a couple of these inspiring journeys in the Northern Territory and these are both a little bit different in that they're both five-day itineraries so nice little modular itineraries that you can add and the way I always suggest for travel agents to sell these is what you can do is you can plan your FIT itinerary and you can plan it around the departure dates for, for these, if it's one or the other or both. Plan around these departure dates. Add this to the middle of your customized FIT itinerary and then add in your cans and your Sydney segments on either end, those customized segments. It's kind of nice sometimes if you're traveling as a couple to maybe just have a few days where you're traveling with some other people. And also these two locations as a small group, doing that in a small group setting is really nice. So this one is Kakadu's Ancient Secrets, and this is a five-day itinerary. Um, lots of departure dates on these. And some of the some of the highlights of this one is you're experiencing quite a bit of World War II history. You're swimming in Gunlam Falls overlooking Kakadu. There's a couple of really nice lodges that we use on this. One of them is Sakata Lodge. The other one is Wildman Wilderness Lodge. And then you're taking a swim in Wangi Falls. You're getting to experience your crocodile. You're having your crocodile experiences here as well um, on Yellow River. And um, and then also visiting Catherine Gorge and um, and all these places up here. This is really rich in Aboriginal history up in this area, and you're really getting to experience it. Another thing that I suggest doing is if you do have clients doing this Kakadu's Ancient Secrets, have them stay on in Darwin for a couple nights afterwards, and they can do, we offer a day tour, and it's called the Tiwi Islands Day Tour. They can do that afterwards or beforehand and get to experience a really unique part of Kakadu. You'll see those islands above there, just above north of Darwin, and that's where they're going for the Tiwi Island Day Tour. It's a 100% Aboriginal island. The other Northern Territory inspiring journey that we offer is this one. I love this itinerary, and this is something that you can definitely utilize quite a bit. Uh, pretty much in any of your itineraries that are going to Australia that are wanting to see that triangle of Cairns, the Red Center in Sydney, you can add this in. Um, so again, plan it around these departure dates, put Cairns and Sydney on either end of this, and your clients can have an amazing experience. So clients on this one are dining under a desert moon at Kings Canyon. They're doing a nice hike through Walpa Gorge, discovering Aboriginal rock art at Uluru. The Kings Canyon Rimwalk again is included. School of the Air in Alice Springs is one of the experiences that clients will have. This the Uluru sunset with sparkling wine is always a really, really cool experience. Um, and then of course the sunrise. One thing I'd like to mention about this one is the dates coincide with Kakadu's ancient secrets. So clients want a really extensive back-to-back, -back, um, outback experience. You can put these two back-to-back, -back, and that's really nice. And again, these have a maximum of 20 passengers. And in the Red Center, this is really nice to have as a small group experience. This is a new itinerary for this year, and I just love this itinerary. I'm actually doing a version of this in a couple of weeks, and I'm really excited about it. So this is called Victoria's Hidden Gems. It's a seven-day itinerary um, going along the Great Ocean Road and then up inland into regional Victoria. So very heavy um, food and wine experiences, especially in the beginning of this, this vacation. So starting in Melbourne and then going up to Dalesford uh, for one night, visiting Hepburn uh, Springs, um, and then going on into Dunkeld, staying at the Royal Mail Hotel, uh, eating, dining there, having a really amazing dining experience, visiting Hull's Gap before going down into Warrnambool, and then going along the Great Ocean Road nice and slow for three nights before heading back into Melbourne. There's some amazing experiences along the way, including a three-course lunch at Jackrabbit Winery. On the first night, they're doing the Colonial Tram Car Dinner. 
lots of Aboriginal cultural experiences as well. The departure dates on this one coincide with one of our guided vacations called Perfect Tasmania. So this is nice if you have clients who are outdoor enthusiasts um, who want to experience some of the amazing scenery of Australia, you could combine those two and have a really cool trip planned for your clients. Here's a couple of images of what the really spectacular things that clients see along the way. So this is the 12 apostles here and then the 12 apostles here as well. And this is day five, this is Lockhart Gorge. So really beautiful things that clients are gonna see along this journey. Those are inspiring journeys itineraries. Um, it, they're pretty neat. I think um, it's a really spectacular product. We've been doing really well with them, particularly in North America this past year. It really suits the North American traveler. So I just wanna touch on each of those. And, um, and I hope that you are as excited about them as I am. So now getting into our early payment discounts, I always like to talk about this because these are these make those inspiring journeys um, really good value. So currently the early payment discount is if clients pay by April 27th, they'll receive a 7.5% discount on their guided vacation or inspiring journey. It's a really great discount. What this can be combined with that I always like to mention is we offer a King's Club past guest discount of 5%. And that is for any traveler who has ever traveled with our brand, but also any of those brands I spoke about at the beginning that are under the Travel Corporation umbrella. So Trafalgar, Insight Vacations, Uniball Cruises, Contiki, if clients have ever traveled with those brands before, and it's always good to ask them, then they can get an additional 5%. So that's 12.5% that they would be discounted on their guided vacation or inspiring journey. So it's really good to keep in mind. Very good question to ask if your clients are interested in one of those. You would just need to let your res agent at travel to know the name of the clients and approximately when they traveled in the past and what brand they travel with, and we'll apply that discount to their bookings. We offer a really great single traveler option. So if a single traveler wants to volunteer when they make the booking to share with another single traveler that they don't know at the at, who has also volunteered for the same thing at their time of booking, um, we will give them the, um, the twin share price for the single traveler. They'll never have to pay that single supplement. They'll just have that twin share price. And if we aren't able to pair them with another single traveler, they're going to be accommodated in their own room and will never have to pay that single supplement. So that's a really cool thing that we offer for single travelers. So just to review uh, our AAT Kings Touring, the different options that we offer is we offer inspiring journeys, maximum of 20 passengers, unique experiential itineraries, all focused on food, wine, indigenous culture, and off the beaten path experiences using five-star accommodation. Our guided vacations are escorted tour coach touring from five, anywhere from five to 24 days in three to four-star accommodations. So you have your first choice and your best buys, as I mentioned, and what the differences are there. First choice is four-star, best buys is three-star is the basic, is the difference there. Then our short breaks, really great for pre and post cruise excursions, two to 19 day modules for FIT travelers, anywhere from three, four or five star accommodation. And we offer them all over Australia, the Red Center, the Top End, Cairns, Sydney, Melbourne, any Western Australia as well. So some really nice short breaks that we offer there. And then day tours, we offer about a hundred different day tours throughout Australia, half of full day tours and a small group tour and lots of large group tours. These are my contact details. Um, I'm always welcome. I always welcome your questions. If you need help with any of our products and maybe deciding between a couple things for your clients, I'm certainly available and can help you with that. If you want me to, um, if you have clients who are VIP, I'm more than happy to note that in bookings as well. And then to book, make sure and contact Travel too. They'll take care of all of your bookings for our product. And thank you so much for listening to me today. That's all I have for now. I'll go ahead and turn it back over to Leah. Thank you so much, Margot. We appreciate your time today. I know you're going to stick around for questions. So for those of you listening in that have any questions, just a reminder on the right side of your screen is a little question box that you can drop your, all your questions into. And we'll do our best to get to all of them by the end of the presentation. And for those that we don't get to during the presentation, we'll email you your answers. 
<clears throat> now, we have provided a marketing toolkit for uh, you to download for AAT Kings, and right now is an ideal time to do it. Now, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the low season for our destination for Australia and New Zealand starts now. And the escorted tour season for booking is June and July. So during the low season, the escorted tours is what is selling. So you definitely want to download the marketing toolkit and get that out into your market so that you can capture a piece of the escorted market for yourself. Now those that are booking in the June-July period, they are booking the January, February, March departures. So again, it's a great time to get part of these uh, tools to get out to your clientele. Very easy to get them. All you have to do is register on our advisor site if you are not already registered. It takes two minutes to register and then you have automatic access to this screen which has your marketing toolkit, our specialized services, booking tools, and of course our people. Now to get the AAT Kings flyer, all you have to do is click Customize Flyer. And actually this should say uh, Australia there, I apologize for that, or New Zealand. And we have it in both currencies, USD and CAD. All you have to do is click Download to customize that flyer, and it will populate into your browser like such. Now what's great about this is it's pulling your information from your profile that you uploaded with us on our advisor site. So it's going to drop all your details there so that you can get it straight out to market. Now what you've done here is you've downloaded it from our website, but you still need to download it to your computer for further use. So most um, engines like Firefox or Chrome or Explorer have a little button that you can click that has an arrow for download and then save it to your desktop. Or you can just right click it, save as, desktop, and away you go. That way you can print, save, or email out. And as Margot was mentioning, there's some really great discounts right now. Um, up until the 27th of April is 7.5%. So you want to download these right now. Now there is a discount offer after 27 April, and it's booked by 29 June for a 5% savings. And as Margot was saying, you want to pair these as much as you can with other savings. So if they've been a past passenger on any of the Travcorp brands, then they can definitely uh, add that in as well. Now to get a microsite, all you have to do is click Customize Microsite, and you'll have to search through our microsites. We have a few of them online right now, but what you're looking for is Guided Tours. So Guided Tours 2018-19 uh, Australia and New Zealand. You're going to click Customize this site, and then voila, you have your own site. So from here, now keep in mind, I built this from my own profile. That's why it says Travel 2. When you build it, you'll have your own unique URL, and you'll have all of your own branding that sits on this microsite. Now if you're a manager owner of your agency and you're listening in today, you can actually take this URL and build out a tab on your existing website with this, and you can put Escorted Tours South Pacific, and it can lead to your own uh, AAT Kings page. Um, if you are an advisor online, you can use this URL by simply creating an e-signature that you can use with clientele. You can drop that into your social feeds and say, check out my new site. Uh, you can use it in daily conversations with your clientele. However you'd like to market it, uh, just make sure that you do download this because it will be the time to sell them very, very soon. Now with the site itself, your clients are going to come in here and they'll click View This Package. Now there's several packages online under the Escorted uh, brand. And when they click View This Package, uh, a little pop-up is going to come up that will give them the information of the tour, so the inclusions. But that's it. Because at the end of the day, marketing serves a purpose to make those phones ring. So we want to make it simplified and make sure that those phones are ringing on your end should your clients have any questions for you. Now the next thing that you can do here is go to our online brochures and request. You'll need to scroll down a little bit, but you'll see our branded AAT Kings brochure. So it's branded Travel 2, and it says Guided and Independent Touring. You have an online version that's US and CAD, or you can order a print copy. That's up to you however you'd like to utilize it. Um, one of my favorite ways to do it is online. Uh, because what I do with the brochures is once I've downloaded it or, or I'm viewing it online, I actually save it to my desktop. 
It saves like the image icon of the brochure, and then it's easy access for you on a daily uh, basis. Plus, you can email pages out to clients. So if you're looking for an escorted itinerary or clients are looking for an escorted itinerary, you can simply email pages, say, 23 and 24 of the highlights of Australia and New Zealand off to your clients. So very easy to use it that way. Okay, I hope that you were paying very close attention to all of that information. I'm going to open up the question box right now. We'll get to your questions by the end of the show. But first we're going to ask you some questions. And the very first person in is going to be a winner of a $5 Starbucks card. So I've got five questions. So get your fingers ready on your keyboard and open up your question box and start answering. Question number one. Does Travel2 provide a Travel2 branded AAT Kings brochure online? And go. John Potter, you are our lucky winner. You are winning your $5 Starbucks card. The answer is yes. Okay. Number two. To take advantage of the 7.5 early bird discount, your clients must book with you by what date? First person in is... Heike, okay, travel time. All right, Heike, I will get you a Starbucks card in the mail next week. Okay, question number three. Name the AAT Kings brand that conducts small group itineraries. And go. Teresa Weir, you are our winner. Inspiring Journeys is the answer. Teresa, I'm just writing your name down. Uh, rear. Okay. Uh, fourth question. What is the maximum capacity of Inspiring Journey small group tours? Ah, first one in what? Oh my God, everybody's answering here. Uh, Pamela, Pamela Hallberg, you are our winner. Maximum 20 is correct. And I love seeing all of you answering these. Everyone's correct. It is 20 passengers. So Pamela and Hallberg. Okay, last question. Get ready. Name the fully guided touring category that offers clients premium accommodation. And go. This one might take a second for them to answer. Okay, first one in is Donna Farmer. First choice is correct, Donna. So you are a winner of our Starbucks cards. And for those of you who just weren't sure of it, it's first choice. So there's two categories. There's first choice, which is your premium accommodation. And then there's the Best Buy category, which is your three-star accommodation. Little tiny less touring and meals, but more freedom and flexibility of having leisure time as well. So there's two categories within the overall fully guided AAT Kings Tours. So thanks for taking part in that everyone. I'll make sure to get your cards out in the mail in the next week so that you can enjoy coffee on Travel2. Now speaking of rewards, for those of you who are new to Travel2, we actually conduct an incentive program. It's ongoing every month called TRIP, which stands for Travel Rewards and Incentive Program. We reward our top sellers with a $50 Visa gift card each month, and I will be uh, naming those people very soon. And at the end of the year, our top sellers receive really delicious gift baskets. Now ultimately, it's also about traveling with us on one of our many fans throughout the year. We actually have a, a nice big mega famil uh, taking 40 advisors from North America over to Australia at the end of May. So I'll talk more on that in a second. Uh, but you have to be registered for TRIP to qualify your sales for this. So in the follow-up email that you will receive, now it's, there's going to be a delay on this uh, only because the recording of today's presentation isn't going to be available on YouTube for another day or two. So we'll send, up, send you the follow-up email after that's live on YouTube. And in that follow-up email is a registration for TRIP. So please do make sure to register that, and then you don't have to think about it again because all of your forward sales will qualify for rewards. Now our upcoming FAMs, we have a few of them. We've got Vivid Sydney, which is in June, and this is a top producer's FAM uh, during the light festival called Vivid in Sydney where the Opera House and the bridge and the boats and the buildings 
and the art installations are all lit up beautifully. It's a great time to see Sydney, and we're conducting a nice fimmel during that time with Tourism New South Wales. The Amazing Aussie Adventure is the mega famille that I was talking about, leaving at the end of May. And this is where we take 40 advisors from North America and we split up into several different fam groups. We all tour different regions and then we meet in a final destination. And this year our final destination is South Australia. We're really excited about that. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for more news on that. And of course, all sales counted until the end of March. So those of you who have been selling us and that are online, will be notified very, very soon. Then we have in uh, December, we have the Tahiti Tourism Exchange, which we always have pre famils to, so there will be opportunities there as well. Now this isn't the end-all, be-all. We, we may come up with a couple more FAMs throughout the year, but when we do, they will be filtered through our newsletter. So another thing, once you've registered on our advisor site, be sure to go down into the Marketing Toolkit and either click U.S. Newsletter or Canada Newsletter. That way you can make sure that you're getting all the right updates from us. All right, our March top sellers are Nora Pierce, Vision Travel, Jose Deluxe Travel, uh, Shell, Gullis, Shirley, Travel Expert, Sandy, Malpin, and Joanne Fugazi. So congratulations everyone. You are our top sellers and we are sending you Visa gift cards in the mail as we speak. So thank you very much for your support and uh, we look forward to your next bookings for the South Pacific. Now for new technologies, for those of you sitting online today that are from the U.S., we now have Tango available for you. Tango is an online land booking system that you can utilize pulling uh, live inventory from our system. And what's great about it is you have full control over that booking. So you can make changes. You can even see the agent view, which is uh, cost breakdowns, nets, gross, all of that great stuff, commission, everything like that. And then you have your clientele uh, version as well that gives you that package price. It's a great way to do something very quickly. So if you only have a couple nights hotel that you want to book and you want instant availability, you just log on and you can pull it right from our system. So if you're interested in utilizing that service, the booking system is right here. Under our booking tools, it's the first one there. Now that is actually, there's a video there that will show you how to use the system as well. So for the Canadians online, right now we're loading the CAD rates, so it's not quite available for Canada. But if you want to get ahead of the game and look at the video so that you know how to utilize the, the tool, then absolutely you can do that. So just uh, make sure to log on there and have a look because you guys are going to love this system. And of course, reach out to your, your Travel to reps if you need any help or you're just looking to get access to this and not quite sure after this presentation how to do it. Uh, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to uh, provide you access to this page that's going to show you the video and then our training documents as well. And then for new users, uh, how to log in. A continuing technology that we have is UMAPT and Access. These are your mobile itineraries. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Some clients will like to have mobile itineraries and some clients will want documents. We do documents as well. So leave that for us to handle on our end because uh, at the end of the day we know when you're receiving those e-docs, you're creating documents anyways. And an e-doc you know, it's just not a, a high quality itinerary when, you're, when your clients are booking the upwards of $10,000 or more for our destinations. So you want to have a nice document presentation which we can provide for you. Now of course if they want to do a mobile app, which is really the way that things are going to trend in the next several years, know that we can service that as well. We were actually the very first supplier on with UMAPT um, and then we brought on Access as well. Now these mobile itineraries, your clients don't need to travel with Wi-Fi because so, it's basically a PDF uh, that we send you of the itinerary. You upload it to your user account and then you have your mobile app and you send the link off to your clients. Very easy to use and of course there are reps for both of these companies that can help you through that process as well. So if you're interested in that, you can reach out to us and we can put you in the right hands. 
not to forget, along with our AAT Kings Escorted brochure, we also have uh, an online Maldives brochure that we've just loaded, which is a beautiful piece, and our very new vacation planner. Now this is over 200 pages of content. Now being Travel2, being a B2B, we don't produce consumer copies of this brochure. We, we produce agent copies. So basically, uh, we've already done a distribution. Uh, some of you have received it, some of you not yet, but it is on its way, uh, where we've done one copy per office. Now, because we're a B2B, as I said, we're doing just brochures for advisors. If you want to have a uh, brochure per advisor, the best solution is to download it from our site onto your desktop. That way you have access to it at all times. You don't have to keep downloading it every time you go into our site. Uh, it's an easy way to do it. Um, if you haven't received your brochure yet, just stay tight. Uh, you should see it in the next little while. If you don't see it within the next month, definitely reach out to us and we'll take care of you. And we are very excited to announce that Travel Age West Wave Award uh, we've been nominated for again, Travel 2, and also our sister brand Qantas Vacations has been nominated for Best Tour Operator. So we are really excited about that. And in our follow-up email, I've actually put a link to this. So if you would like to vote and you want to vote Travel 2 and Qantas Vacations, we would so appreciate your votes. Uh, you'll have that link within the next day or two. Now I'm going to open it up for questions. Just give me a second while I look through all of this because there are tons of questions here. One second. And I still have Margo on the line, right? Margo, are you still there? I'm still here. Perfect. Okay. So one of our questions is, would you please post Margo's contact info again. Absolutely. In fact, Jane, what I'll do is I'm just going to send it directly to you, and then that way you have it for your files. Uh, Donna is asking, can we book the overnight Blue Mountain and Hunter Valley as a short break? No, that is not offered as a short break. Um, the short break from Sydney, though, does – it includes a day tour to the Blue Mountains, but for the short break, you're staying in Sydney the full time for the three nights and then it does a day tour to the Blue Mountains and it does a half day city tour as well. Those short breaks combine our most popular day tours with accommodation in one location. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay, Marsha, this is a question for me. Did you have an update on Tango or did I miss that at the start? And Marsha, you're calling in from Canada. No, we have not released anything yet for Canada for Tango. Uh, we are actually loading the CAD rates right now. Uh, we expect this to be done in the next two to three months. And once that is released, you'll see it in your newsletter. Plus, I will send out an update as well to let, with the link to the recording so that you can get started on utilizing that system. Marsha also asked, do the Canadians have the option of selling in USD or CAD? Yes, absolutely. Please feel free to do whatever your clients would like, and we can, uh, you just have to notify us what you want us to be booking it in. Uh, Debbie, does the umbrella of travel to include Africa travel? Sadly, Debbie, no. We don't do any Africa travel. We are a niche partner for uh, South Pacific and for Asia. Okay, uh, Teresa, does Travel 2 hold tickets for Australian Open in January? Yes, we do, absolutely, uh, Teresa. Actually, um, what's great is we have them available now, and it's not even available to the general public yet. So you can actually start utilizing that right away. I believe we have a flyer online as well that you can download and start getting out to market. Okay, so that's it for questions today. Uh, for those of you who we have not re yet reached, I will definitely email you the answers. So for our next training, um, we have the 7th of June, and we're featuring Australia with Tourism Australia. So we're going to talk about the icons and the unique uh, different ideas that you can do around Australia for your clientele. So we do hope that you can join us there. I want to take one more moment to thank Margo again. Thank you so much, Margo, for your presentation. It was wonderful, and we learned a lot today. So thank you very much for that. 
And to everyone online today, thank you again for taking the time out to listen in, uh, to learn a little bit more about Travel 2 and AAT Kings. If you have any questions after this, please feel free to reach out to me or your local representative under Travel 2, and uh, we'll be happy to help you. In the meantime, remember, the follow-up email is going to come out in a day or two with a link to this recording. Please share it amongst your team if you enjoyed today's training, and we look forward to seeing you at the next one on the 7th of June. Thank you and have a wonderful day.